Welcome to the Green Wisdom Health Podcast with Dr. Stephen and Janet Lewis, where you will learn about natural solutions to common ailments. And now, here are your hosts, Dr. Stephen and Janet Lewis. Hello and welcome to our show. I'm Janet Lewis. And I'm Dr. Lewis. And we are bringing you another exciting show about holiday <laughs> issues, uh, <laughs> holiday fun, festivities, but there could be blues and bloating also. So we are going to educate you if you've eaten all that turkey and you feel a little stuffed a little bit more than your turkey is, that there could be a reason for that. Take um, it from a doctor. You need better nutrition. That's right. So <laughs> there's no need to be stuffed or bloated. Because we have things that will help you uh, not be, and we're going to teach you the signs and symptoms of what it could be so that you don't think it's just normal. Now, if you are overeating, that could be a sign that you're stuffed, and we can't do anything about that. But if you are eating normally and you're having some bloating issues, Dr. Lewis is going to discuss with us about why we're doing that. And then we also have got a lot of uh, clients that wanted us to talk a little bit about holiday depression, because even as fun as the holidays are for us, some people do experience depression and a blueness during the holidays. Maybe that's why they call it, I'll have a blue Christmas. But um, (laughs) we want you to have a bright, cheery, white Christmas. And uh, Dr. Lewis, can you help people feel better and live healthier and happier, productive lives? Absolutely. I mean, we we do that nutritionally, but uh, I think it's always a good idea to hit the mental and the spiritual aspect of it. Uh, one of the things I'd like to say is there's so many people that talk to us. Uh, even Layla from the United Kingdom uh, said some very nice things. So if you're listening, thank you. And uh, Miss Smirnoff from, I forget where you're from. I think it's Michigan, somewhere up in there. Yes, ma'am. We're doing podcast again. So uh, there, there's so much, and I hope I can tie all this together. But, you know, many, many times the poor digestion has a lot to do with depression. Now, if you have thoughts of suicide or harming yourself or other people, go to a psychiatrist, you know, right off the bat. Uh, because I always say this is not an alternative to medicine, but sometimes it's very, very complimentary. And if you can get your body healthier, sometimes you may need uh, some of the drugs less and less. So you'll have to discuss that with your doctor. Um, For far as digestion goes, and this is one of the things that I talk to people about over and over again, you have to think about probiotics. And you have to think about digestive enzymes. And folks, I know they do sometimes similar things, but they're not the same. Uh, Probiotics for mood enhancement, uh, it it makes a big difference. Janet can tell you the day or within one or two days of when I quit taking my probiotics. And I have to take a lot because of GI issues, which I've had all my life. And she'll say, Stephen, you're not taking your probiotics, are you? I said, who's the doctor here? She says, but I know so much about nutrition. I said, yes, ma'am, you do. Uh, <clears throat> so she will kind of nail me on, oh, you're not taking your probiotics. And I'm going to tell you why that's important. Uh, it has to do a lot, and there's a lot of research about this too, that uh, they actually call them psychobiotics. Uh, you know, it's a live probiotic that when you get it into your system in large enough amounts produces uh, benefits in patients, even the ones that are suffering from psychiatric illnesses. Um, They act sort of as a delivery system or a vehicle uh, for neuroactive compounds. That's neurotransmitters, which I like to call happy hormones. They stimulate the nervous system in a good way. Um, And one of the things, you know, this was done in the animal models, usually mice. There's a bifidobacterium infantis was found to increase the precursor to serotonin. And serotonin is the one that makes you feel very peaceful. That's, you know, people say, I don't know what you're giving me, but it's the peace of God in the bottle. So just getting heavy duty amounts of that. And it's best to take probiotics that have many, many different species in it. Um, the 
the bacto or bifidobacterium infantis uh, actually helps to normalize your immune system response. And folks, you got to remember your immune system, 60, 70, 80% in your GI tract. And it helps to reverse uh, negative behaviors, helps to increase norepinephrine or noradrenaline. Uh, and that's caused by stress if you have uh, abnormal amounts of that. Then you've got the lactobacillus. That's the probiotic everybody seems to know about. Oh, I know about lactobacillus. Well, there's a lot of different types. You know, we know about the acidophilus, but there's one called remnosis. And actually that reduces anxiety and alters the expression of GABA, which is GABA aminobutyric acid. Um, We have some precursors to GABA. And there's actually a lady that stirs it into her husband's coffee because usually people that are low in GABA and or dopamine, uh, they have addictive behaviors. And this lady stirs it in her husband's coffee without him knowing, and he quit gambling. And then when she ran out of it, he went over to the casinos and blew about 15 grand right then. Uh, She said, I'll never forget it again. So the GABA is a calming neurotransmitter, a calming, happy hormone that kind of offsets anxiety. And this can come or be aided by this bifidobacterium infantis. So that's that's in a lot of our different probiotic formulas. Um, <clears throat> there's more and more studies that were in psychiatry. They're talking about the gut bacteria actually if it's imbalanced, can contribute to psychiatric disorders in patients. And if you listen to the news, which I do not suggest you do, because that'll cause stress in and of itself, how many of these people that are going crazy doing stupid things that might just need some good nutrition and maybe probiotics to get things working correctly? I wonder myself, because they've done studies about even simple, not even very great B vitamins decreasing violence in prisons by 50%. Uh, these microbes, they they help the development of the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. How many of you think you have adrenal fatigue or high cortisol, which is the precursor to going in fatigue? That's a lot of people because of the stress. Does it... Does it require a doctor who knows about nutrition in order uh, to determine what you need as far as a digestive enzyme or what's going on with why you're bloated? And uh, when you talk about probiotics and you talk about digestive enzymes, how is a normal normal person supposed to know what to take without having a doctor that specializes in nutrition? Tell tell them. I think it's a wise thing because me being the doctor and that's all I study is nutrition. Well, okay, it's not true. I study lab and nerve supply and all that too. But uh, yeah, I think it makes a big difference. Um, So basically you can't just walk into a health food store and expect to pick up something that is going to get rid of your issues. You really need to speak to someone that specializes in nutrition that can really help understand You know, if they get lucky and find a needle in a haystack, but how would you know? And that's why we do the low-cost lab work, which Janet, in her brilliance, uh, has figured out how to get it where you can just go online and order it and and look around and decide what you want. You can do it without me knowing it. Uh, If you need to, you can call me and, and let me help you decide what might be best for you, too. Well, that's one of our panels on lab is uh, because you're talking about digestion and not knowing whether what you need. Um, one of our panels that we run, which is a pretty common panel, but a lot of people aren't looking at it that way. And, you know, a doctor of nutrition does. Uh, we're looking at where the uh, the globulin on the on the lab is actually at an optimal level and not just in range. Right. And based on that, uh, being that's high. That's immune system response and a reflection of digestion or lack of such or gastrointestinal inflammation. Yes. Yeah. So based on that, you can determine what kind of digestive enzyme or what needs to happen because some of it could be gallbladder. Some of it could be 
um, lack of digestive enzymes. And, and you know, we talked earlier uh, uh, on a different podcast about the bile, and I think it was Layla from the United Kingdom said it's the first time she's ever heard digestion explained in a way that she actually understood it. So thank you for listening, even in the United Kingdom. Well, I can explain digestion where they get it because I've experienced it. <laughs> you know, you, uh, many people have their gallbladders gone. That seems to be a very common surgery now that they get rid of it, but people still have the problem even though their their gallbladder is gone. Well, when my red light came on in my brand new truck, I just got under the the hood and clipped the wire to the red light. I'm just teasing. I didn't do that. But it makes sense, doesn't it? So that means that really it didn't fix the problem just because you turned the light off? And that's like taking the gallbladder out didn't fix their problem? That's like saying firemen cause fires and fire trucks. So they basically still need a digestive enzyme if they've had their gallbladder removed, correct? Uh, You need it more then. Well, I had a, a really good friend of mine, preacher, wonderful, wonderful man, says, but Doc, I go to the bathroom the two or three times a day when Janet talks about her train story. I said, that's elimination. How much are you digesting? Take these probiotics and take these digestive enzymes. And it wasn't long. He came back and says, oh, my God, you knew what you were talking about. I said, well, I won't get up and preach because I'm not qualified to the degree that you are. And you just let me take care of the nutrition. And he's doing absolutely wonderful. Well, I know when you have a gallbladder problem, if you, you know, I still have mine and I do have a problem with my gallbladder. I always have, but enough digestive enzymes actually can make the gallbladder do what it's supposed to. And you can get by with eating some of those bad things. I remember. Because I led her into temptation more than once. Well, I remember (laughs) trying to eat a bunch of uh, olive oil with some crackers, the, the bread thing, you know. I think I might have been in a winery, and I'm sure I wasn't having the wine. But uh, Yeah, if she thinks she might have been in a winery, yeah. something deleted her memory because <laughs> we were. <laughs> and I thought that olive oil with that stuff they put in there and put it on the bread was just delicious. Mm-hmm. Until my gallbladder told me it was not delicious. I and, stopped uh, on the side of the road, folks, if that's what she's getting yes, to. <laughs> yes, and, and at that time, I didn't know about digestive enzymes because, you know, People think, well, y'all are all healthy and y'all know all of this stuff. Well, a lot of it's because we had to experience it. And unfortunately, digestion is a huge one for me. And because of that incident and other ones like it, uh, we knew something was missing with the gallbladder. So we've got products that actually contain ox bile in them because the ox bile helps thin the bile so that you can... Uh, and it aids in, digest- in digestion in a big way. So when it's thin, it can flow and take out those nasty things the liver's concentrated to get rid of. Um, yes, and our favorite one that we use is orthodigestizyme from orthomolecular because it has um, the ox bile in it. It has the different... Betaine, hydrochloric acid, uh, the bromelain. It has the papain. It has the pepsin. Uh, yeah, it's really, really good. And, you know, a, a very concentrated pancreatin. But um, back to the probiotics, you know, I, I know I ramble and Janet has trouble keeping me there. Uh, there's a bacteria called Bifidobacterium longum that if you take it, say, for 30 days, it actually reduces the psychological distress and uh, it reduces uh, cortisol levels. And there are a lot of people that have high cortisol levels, you know, high stress, you know, jittery thoughts, anxious. Uh, So these bacteria can make a huge, huge difference. And don't think that you're buying yogurt and doing yourself any good. And I had a lady today says, well, I bought buttermilk. I said, is it pasteurized? She said, yeah. I said, well, it doesn't have any good bacteria in it. They kill it when they pasteurize it. She said, I never thought about it. And that's why I think you need to uh, make your decisions about nutrition from, you know, a doctor or somebody that knows. Uh, maybe a little bit more about it and understands the physiology and how things work. And one other thing that we're pretty excited about, and we've been waiting for it quite a long time, is um, weight loss. You know, people are looking for weight loss, and especially during the holidays, they're all eating whatever they want, and then they want to have weight loss. Uh, And and speaking of digestion and all, this kind of falls hand in hand because uh, we now have the ability to get – Canary seeds, believe it or not, something a bird would eat. 
but they're hybridized uh, canary seeds, which means they don't have the silica fiber on the outside that's actually harmful for a, a human. But not GMO. Correct. They're non-GMO. And when you grind them up and drink them as a milk, it actually helps digestion. It's kind of um, a filter to unclog all of the bad junk in the body. And, and the end result is you lose weight. And we are so excited because we finally now have access to this. We've been waiting for a long time. Yeah, um, for Fran, who's been interested, and for Tricia up in Indiana. <laughs> She's but, got a great sense of humor. I yeah, love her. <laughs> if you will go to uh, www.eatmyseed.com. Eat, I'm eat, sorry, eatbirdseed.com. Eat bird yeah, uh, uh, it confuses me. Yeah, eatbirdseed.com. So have you ever seen a fat canary? I rest my case. Right. You can learn all about how to lose weight, but you'll also have a way to get your digestive system back in check. Because in the uh, research, it lowers blood sugar, it mobilizes cholesterol, lowers cholesterol, and... Uh, lowers A1C, lowers your chance of heart attack and stroke, and this is done on animal studies. There's a lot of research attached to it, but most of the stuff on uh, the Internet that says the silica-free, guess what, folks? When you buy it and put it under a microscope, they're lying to you. Our stuff is really silica-free, and uh, we're, we're glad we're just starting this. It's a really good thing. And, you know, Janet and I don't sell anything we don't own in our heart. I got on it, and I went from... 34 jeans, which were tight, tight, tight. 35s were relatively comfortable, and now I'm in a very comfortable 33. And I didn't really need to lose a lot of weight, so it works. Well, what I've noticed, because I am the master of the train story, it definitely speeds up train production. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it does. And the digestion, and that's, I talked about the probiotics and the digestion, if you can get that going, it really can help with the holiday blues. And part of the blues is because we're doing too many sugars, too many carbs that feed the yeast. And the yeast will many, many times create uh, brain fog, you know, the dopey, dizzy, spacey, can't concentrate, poor memory, depressed for no reason, loss of interest, confusion, fatigue for no reason, or mood swings out of proportion to the trigger. Whew, that's a lot. Uh, so that can be because, oh, you put the wrong stuff in and on top of that, you're not digesting it. So throw in one or maybe two of these digestive enzymes, throw in your probiotics, and we've got some... Oh, my God, big ones. And alcohol during the holidays, folks, it's it's a depressive thing, so be careful about that. Nutritional deficiencies can uh, add to depression, anxiety, and stress. Well, one of my favorite ones for that is 5-HTP. Now, you can't be on an antidepressant and take that, but uh, it's 5-hydroxytryptophan, and the one we sell here is the 100 milligram. And we call it the peace of God in a bottle because it literally helps with mood, weight loss, and sleep. I gave it to a lady the other day because she uh, was having some issues with one of her kids. Um, <laughs> We've never experienced that. And um, she was taking the 5-HTP at night, and she came and she goes, do you have anything that I can take during the day? Because my kids, I, I don't even know why she said, I don't know they're coming in for the holidays. I just am really stressed about it. I said, try taking one of those 5-HTP. See, I'd have taken day. a cruise. To heck with 5-HTP. I'd taken a cruise, and the kids would have shown up to an empty house. <laughs> oh, well. sorry. Sorry. I digress. <laughs> <laughs> so she tried this 5-HTP. We have a couple of them. One of them is a controlled release, which actually releases a little bit all day long. And then the other one, uh, it lasts about three or four hours. Well, I, she, I do control release for sleep. Oh, go go ahead. Yeah, and I and I thought, <laughs> I, we usually give it for at night for sleep. But I didn't realize which one she had, and she took a controlled release during the day. And she came in the next day, and I said, how did it work? She goes, oh, that stuff is awesome. She goes, I don't even care what my kids think. And I said, which one did you take? And she said, this one you gave me for at night, which was the controlled release. And I said, really? I said, so it lasts all day during the day also. She goes, hadn't cared at all. She said, I'm coming back in for another bottle. So um, if you have a lot on your mind, you might try 5-HTP, and, and you do need a good quality one. You know, the ones I'm talking about are uh, the high-grade end, which is orthomolecular is the regular, and then we have one by Zymogen that is a controlled release. 
So um, do make sure there's a hundred milligram though when you are on our website at greenwisdomhealth.com. But you know, there's another one that's my favorite. That's more of the shotgun approach. It's not just 5-HTP. It's called Neuralink from Designs for Health, and it it has in B6 and folks, and, and this is the activated B6 P5P. You have to have B6 for these neurotransmitters to cross the blood-brain barrier to get it into the brain. But then it has tyrosine, which is amino acid that's really good for your thyroid too, folks. <clears throat> but it helps you be more peaceful. And then it has the GABA, glutamine, and acetyl, taurine, and 5-HTP. Uh, we have a lot of people on it that have ADD, ADHD, and it just calms down that fire in their neurological system. And uh, other people, it's like... Oh, my God, I just feel so wonderful. So but keep in mind, one of the reasons that we overeat is because we're not searching for more food. We're searching for more nutrients that are not there. Uh, For example, uh, you know, our soils are depleted of the minerals, but even brown rice, which is low in minerals, uh, when you convert it to white rice and bleach it, you lose 80 percent of most of the trace minerals like magnesium, manganese, copper, zinc, and more. So you're starting out with brown rice that doesn't have enough of that stuff in it. Then you're throwing away 80% of what it did have. Oh, think about that. And the standard American diet, sad, uh, it's pretty bad about creating some of these nutritional deficiencies. And magnesium has a major amount of of uh, psychological impact and enzyme processes in the brain as well as other things. Um, as a- AFib, I had a lady down in South Louisiana I was talking to earlier, sweetheart of a lady, and uh, she says, I've only been on your stuff for three months and my AFib went away completely. I said, well, I hope you're seeing your cardiologist about it, but she said, I am, but... It went away, and he took me off some medicines because of it. So if you put in the nutrition, you know, hopefully it's put out by a doctor. Hopefully that's me. But good nutrition can allow your body to function at a higher level. And and even a chromium deficiency can cause, like, hypoglycemia, which can create mood swings and depression. So when you eat that piece of pumpkin pie and top it off with pumpkin cake and well you got to have a piece of your mama's chocolate pie and pecan pie and then oh my god your chromium's low so your sugar hits rock bottom and then you get tired and depressed or hangry after that it's probably just a nutritional deficiency well i think it's very interesting if you don't have good bile flow you know like we were talking about digestive enzymes help do better bile, bile it, flow. Is that what the Nile goes into? Bile. Is the bile? Bile, yes. Oh. Oh. It's, it's the bile river. <laughs> and if it doesn't go... It is in your body. That's right. If it's not flowing, <laughs> uh, one of the signs of it is bloating, bloating in your mid and or lower abdomen an hour after eating. If you're sitting there with a football inside your small intestine that's inflated instead of deflated like in the Super Bowl... You might have a bile problem. Yeah, because we literally will ask people when they tell us they're bloated, we'll say, well, what part of your stomach are you bloated in? Because it does make a (laughs) difference of what's wrong. And another sign that you can see on lab is elevated cholesterol, because cholesterol primarily leaves the body with the excretion of bile. So if bile flows backed up, your cholesterol levels will rise. So mm, pay that, attention, cholesterol, folks. So isn't that interesting that uh, it's not about just taking a drug to lower the cholesterol levels. That's actually a sign your body's trying to tell you that your bile uh, could be backed up. So you have uh, with insufficient bile flow, you also have insufficient stomach acid production generally. And that's why some of you, we put on things like uh, betaine hydrochloric acid. There's a little bit of it in our ortho digest design. It's yeah, enough that qu- quite a bit of it. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, there's enough that it's a, a very well-rounded product. So you can take care of your bile and take care of um, your stomach acid production because a lot of people have been told they have too much stomach acid. So that's why they get on drugs to help it. And the reality is, is they don't have enough. Most of the time, that's true. So as you have stomach acid, you'll be able to break down your foods and you won't have that bloating an hour after you've eaten. 
So let me tell you about an email I got yesterday, and I still have to write him back because it's going to be a long email back to him. Uh, He emailed me, and he said he thinks he has a candida infection, and he has all this bloating, and he's depressed, and his memory loss, and he's a young man, especially compared to me. He's real young, and he says, I just don't know what to do. Well, what this young man is doing is he's actually – getting opinions from several different people and he's picking and choosing a little bit here and a little bit there. And one of the things, and he mentioned it in his email was he says, well, I thought about buying that uh, benfotamine that you talked about. Well, folks, if you've got an overgrowth of yeast uh, and fatigue and depression are very, very common with a B1 deficiency and the candida or yeast actually slow the utilization of B1 because it breaks down the thiaminase enzyme. And so you have to overwhelm it with a good one. And a B1 is good. The benfotamine is better. But, uh, and this guy's just thinking about it. And it's like, you know, if you've got that kind of deal, you've got to find somebody you really trust and jump in and do the whole recipe. Don't do a little bit of a recipe here and a little bit of a recipe somewhere else. And don't be picking and choosing. And he could have already been well if he had f- followed my advice from the start, probably. You know, and I don't get them all right either because there's so many different factors. But, folks, when you find something that you feel good about internally or spiritually or with your intuition and your gut feeling, follow it 100%. It's very important. But sometimes that brain fog and depression and fatigue is just a B1 deficiency because your yeast is stealing it all. It's it can be that simple. It's not always. Isn't that interesting? It's really not all in your head. It's actually in your gut. No, there there was actually uh, Nobel uh, winners uh, over a hundred years ago that you know made the connection between your gut and your brain and uh, probiotics uh, or good bacteria. But we're not generally pra- we're not practicing it to a large degree and. I love our medical profession. God knows they bail me out more than once, but and they do a really good job, but we're not really healthy, and it's either too many toxins in your system or not enough nutrients, and usually both, because there's been evidence that our soils have been depleted of all its their minerals for 100 years or better, uh, and the way we fertilize our uh, crops makes it even worse, increases the gluten amount from four to 40 times. And that's why people are having gluten intolerance, which can lead to autoimmune diseases. And all you people that have Hashimoto's, you know what I'm talking about. So folks, it's, uh, you know, get rid of the toxins, increase the nutrients, throw it in, ask God to bless it, and quit worrying about it. Don't stress about trying to do it perfectly because you can't do it perfectly and the stress will kill you a whole lot quicker than anything else. So I just show up and smile. Me, you know, Even my son says, your standard answer for everything is it's all good. I say, yeah, but that song's already been written, but it is all good. So you, know, you got to enjoy these things, folks. Well, and if uh, you're new to listening to our show, we probably should explain to you our approach as to what we do to help you figure out what's going on. Like I had a guy today literally called me, he says, um, I was on your website, thegreenwisdomhealth.com. And he said, I think I need my testosterone checked. I said, okay. I said, how do you know you have a testosterone problem? He said, cause I'm tired. I said, okay, well, that could be a underlying virus. It could be a liver problem. It could be low cortisol, could be high cortisol could be a risk of heart attack or stroke, could be your testosterone. It could be a whole lot of things. And he goes, well, now I don't know what it is. I said, Mm -hmm. exactly. So what we recommend, um, Dr. Lewis has some favorited panels in the middle of our lab panels. Preferred, featured, favorite, I don't know. They're featured. (laughs) Something like that. One of those words. (laughs) And all of his featured ones start with... GWH for Green Wisdom Health. But the most common one that we recommend is the comprehensive panel. panel. We ask you to start there because it's 12 different lab panels. And the current price on it right now is two ninety eight. And And um, so when you get on there and you see that, then you'll know you've got the right one. But it includes Dr. Lewis's consultation. There's a functional medicine report. There's a copy of your lab. And we give you a recommended supplement sheet of what products that we're suggesting for you whenever the lab comes in to help 
help you uh, with the issues that we find on the lab. So um, it takes away the guesswork. And I told him that. I said, you know, you can come in here and you can buy a bottle of something for testosterone. It may or may not work. But if it doesn't work, what are you going to do then? And then you've wasted money on a bottle of pills that wasn't really what you needed. I told him you'd be better off to do the lab, figure out what you're missing. And then we don't say, hey, let's twist your arm off while you go purchase all these products. You can do as much or as little or none of it if if you want but at least you know what's wrong and you're not guessing anymore and that gives you peace of mind and it gives you hope and it gives you a map of how to get started so if that's something you're considering doing start there uh, fill out our health survey if you buy the lab because that really does help us put it together better uh, because then we can look at well, well, what you're trying to achieve versus your prescriptions because we don't ever take you off of that and then we also uh, match up what we find on the lab and get your health back optimal. So we hope this show has helped you. We hope you don't have the holiday blues. And for God's sakes, we hope you're not bloated. <laughs> and that can lead to depression. There's really, and I say this different ways, uh, there's two kinds of people. Those that look back on their life and say, God, I'm glad I did. And then there's those that say, damn it, I wish I had of." Don't be one of those. And with that being said, we'll be back next time with another exciting show right here on the Green Wisdom Health Show. Once again, our show has come to an end, but your hope in your health is only beginning. If you or a loved one are in need of a different outcome and are waiting for a brighter future, take the first step and go to our website and fill out the health survey. Please don't keep us a secret. If you know someone that could benefit from this podcast, please share this show with your friends and family. You're only one step away from a life worth living.